Should we go live? I, I don't know. Um, I'm just going to pick my nose first just to make no, sure I'm clean. No, don't pick your nose. We're on air. Mm -hmm. we're, going, we're going. We're about to go live. Now it's stuck. My finger's stuck. No, get it out. Get it out. I don't know what to do. I'm stuck. And there's people going to watch it. Matt, you know what happens if you push your finger too far up your nose? You hit the reset button and you're going to reset your brain. Oh, no. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, Rich. Yeah? I've reset you... my brain. Oh, cool. He's smart now. Yeah, Rich. I'm uh, super sophisticated and uh, I'm very smart, but also my nose is very. Oh. Yeah. Oh. I was enjoying that. All right. Get off and we'll come back on. All right. I'm back. Okay. All right. Hang on. Rich. What? Do I have time to go to the toilet? No, you don't. We've got to start now. We're already late. We're oh, seven we? minutes late. Yeah, we're supposed to have started seven minutes ago. But I'm busting. I don't care. Hold on. Use it, Matt. Use it. Okay, use it. All right. Hey, Rich. Yeah, what? You want to do like a big fancy showbiz introduction and then I'll pop up? Yeah, but change your background to something really like a fantastic. So like something, something grand, like a grand old theatre. Oh, something like um, maybe. What have you got? This? Turn on the Spice Girls. <laughs> Old school. No way. Uh, I meant something like, you know, uh, you know, like cool, like, uh, I don't know, like a beautiful landscape or space or, you know, uh, 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 pet rocks. <laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, what what about um this look what i'm at the zoo oh yeah hang on i can't see you i can only see mine oh that's good this is what i'll do okay ready match we'll start the show okay here we go starting the show in five four three two one hello and welcome to friday um it's very exciting it's friday and we're saying yay you're joining us on Facebook Live. It's Rich and Matt with the listies. My name is Rich and this is Matt. And my name is Matt. I just said that. Uh, are you uh, broke up a little bit there, Rich? I couldn't uh, quite make it out. No, we didn't. My connection is very good. I'll have you know. I am here in sunny South Australia. And Matt, where are you? I am in a tropical Melbourne. Tropical Melbourne. How beautiful. Ooh la la. Um, 
Uh, we've got a lot of people in the comments. Thank you all for joining us. We've got heaps of people. We've got lots of people watching us live now. It's very exciting to have you all here. Hi, if you all, should we say hi to everyone in the, um, in the foyer, Matt? Uh, you, let's do it. Yeah, we've got uh, Auden and Thea. Hello. Here. We've got um, uh, uh, Isabel, Abby and Theo. Hello. Um, we've got Isabel, Abby and Theo. Oh, what a coincidence. Two lots. Someone <laughs> who's called baked bananas, baked banana, na, 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 I like banana, na, 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 knees. We've got Leo and Zoe and Cranbin. Hi there. We've got Lottie. Ooh. Thanks. Thanks a Lottie for joining us. <laughs> Otto and Tilda. Tilde, I think. Immy and Dar Oh, there's heaps, Matt. They're all flying in. Flying in. Thank, thank you so much for joining us on Friday. Now, uh, Matt, what is the tradition oh, before we start Friday? Before we start Friday on a Friday, what is the tradition with the comments? Oh, well, the, the tradition is that we don't begin until everybody has done a poo. That's so right. If everyone could please just uh, put a poo emoji uh, in, in the comments. In the comments. And while you're doing that, if you could just uh, click care on this post as well, care, <laughs> or care, but do a poo. It's like a, like, oh, do I need to mm, 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 poo? Ah, yeah, exactly. That's, that's good. So that's being careful while doing a poo, Rich, isn't it? <laughs> Michaela and Grayson, they were, they were pretty quickly, they, they, they did it pretty quickly. Yeah. They're, they're, they're super duper poopers. Someone has written the word poo which I think is good. Wait, really? Yeah, they didn't type the poo emoji. Maybe someone did a face poo. <laughs> Matt, don't face poo the internet. Don't face poo on the internet, please. God, someone is really going for baked banana poo. Thank you, here they come. Uh, everyone's, oh, we met Fiona Taylor, we got three from her. Normally there's thousands, isn't there? Well, maybe everyone's a little constipated, Rich. Maybe everybody yeah. needs to eat a little bit more fiber. Exactly, exactly. Have a banana. Yes. So what have you been, well, have a banana. But what have you been up to this week, Matt? Rich, I mm. have been um, reading. Yes. Uh, to get ready for our book lunch today. Uh, what, a book what? A book lunch. What do you mean book lunch? The book lunch. No, no, a book launch, Matt. Huh? Book launch, it's a book launch. We're supposed to have like, you know, sparkling kombucha, a uh, variety of soft drinks, uh, uh, interesting cheese on a stick, small triangular sandwiches brought toilet. around by weight. Yeah. Toilet olives. Toilet olives. What's toilet olives? That's the fanciest thing you can ever have. Toilet olives. It's from Community. Okay. Well, I don't know what that is, and I, I don't watch Community, Matt. Okay. If it was a book, maybe I would read Community. Oh. But, but toilet olives. Yeah. So, Rich. Yeah, you were supposed to organize all that for the launch. I ask me if I did. Did you? Yes. Okay, you're you're saying yes, but you're shaking your head. What does that mean? It means no. Okay, now you're nodding and saying no. What does that mean? I don't know. It was a book launch, Matt. We're supposed to, we're all here to celebrate the launch of our new book. Icky, Icky, uh, not Icky Foodia, not Wikipedia. Teleportaloo. Ooh. Yeah. Isn't that fancy? Yeah, you should have a copy where you are. Hang on, I'll just pass it to you, Matt. Oh, hang on. I'll just pass it to you. Uh, just pass it. Okay. That's okay, right. You pass it? Yeah. You get it? Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> did not work with the virtual backgrounds, did it? Well, I'm watching it happen now, and, and yeah, it did. It worked really well, <laughs> actually. Um, thank you, Ayan and Ariana, for saying stinky poo. And thank you, Edie Watt, for just typing olives. Thank you, Jennifer Porter, for typing poo poo, and then turtle. Wait, yes. hang on. This, uh, quick question. What? Does uh, that mean that they did a, they pooed a turtle? Well, I actually don't know. I mean, uh, maybe they did. Well, oh, would... good luck to you. That would be amazing. 
Uh, now someone's calling us a stinky banana as well. Um, and now Matt, uh, getting back to our book, uh, this is the book launch. Uh, welcome everybody to Friday. Uh, it's today's theme is all about books. Um, so, so Matt, have you done the reading for today? Oh, um, well, um, I couldn't figure out how to, um, how to turn it on. What do you mean? Well, for a start, you've got, for a start, you've got it upside down and back to front. Hang on, wait, wait, hang on. I'm going to turn my virtual background off. Okay. Ooh, oh, yeah. Look. Oh, that's, that's magical. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What's the matter? What happened with that? I couldn't figure out how to turn it on. So I couldn't read it. What do you mean you couldn't read it? Well, there's nowhere to plug it in or you don't, know, like the touch screen's broken. So the touch, what do you mean? It doesn't have a touch screen. You don't plug it in. It's a book, Matt. What? Yes, it's a book. That is so, whoa. What do I do you with it then? Yeah, open it up. It's got pages. You turn the pages. <gasps> See? Whoa. Yeah. It's like he printed the internet. Yeah. Ah. They, this is so remember, futuristic, isn't it? They, well, sort of. No, it's, they've been around for a while, Matt. Yeah. Wow. And what do I yeah. do with it now? Well, then you read it. I read it. Read it. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Look at me. Oh, I'm, I'm reading. Exactly. I mean, you don't, you don't say that. Yeah. You don't say reading, 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 read reading, reading. Yeah, reading. exactly. You don't say that. It's like, reading, yeah. reading. No, I'm that's just, reading, reading. that's just going to get thrown out of the library. That's just annoying, isn't it? Reading, reading, reading. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Matt. It's upside down, by the way, as well. What? It's upside down as well. Uh, now, someone, I'm uh, just going to comment a, a good comment there, Matt. Someone said, when we passed the book, someone said, wow, Richard's magical corner has come early. <laughs> Very good. It's the magicalest thing that you've ever seen yet. Uh, and there's another great comment there, throw poo in the oven. So it's good to know everyone's paying attention. It's just like remote learning, Matt. <laughs> it is. You know how it goes. You start yeah. the day, the teacher tells you to do a poo in the comments. Yes, they do. Exactly. Now, uh, Matt, I have it on good authority. That is what's happening in some remote learning uh, Zoom classrooms. But anyway, um, Matt. Doing poos? Yeah, in the comments, big time. And they're also writing things like throw a poo in the oven. Okay, which we don't advise you do, do we? Um, uh, unless you are making roast potatoes. Okay, thank you. Let's move on. Now, Matt, uh, there's some people that have sent some very VIPs that are going to be in the audience. It's time now to have a look at our pets. Is that right? Oh, yeah. Um, let's and let's get it working. I am the master of technical stuff. Yeah, I'll, I'll play a musical sting while you do that, Matt. Matt. Ready? Okay. Here we go. Hey. We're in the same place, in the same With house. You. Yeah, we have the Simpsons window. Look at that. What do we got, Matt? We have show and smell. That's right. It's time now for show and smell. That's part of the show where we show what you've sent us and give it a smell, I suppose. I suppose. Sometimes you think of the pun first, don't you? Yeah. Here we go. So we had some people send us in some pictures of some VIPs. That's right, very important pets. Here we go. So this is Blossom and Caramel from Yulia. Oh. Look at them. What These kind of animal are they, Matt? What are they, rats or something? Giraffes, I think. Oh, okay, Airy, good. Airy giraffes. Oh, that's good, that's, that's nice. Maybe Guatemalan snakes? Are they Mexican walking fish? Is that what they are? Uh, I think they're Mexican fluffy fish. We can't work out what they are. Just tell us in the comments, please. Next one. Oh, this is Ute the dog. <gasps> is he eating Benjamin? <laughs> so much so you call the police. <laughs> um, then Benjamin sent us two photos of Ute the dog. Yes. Um, in a series he calls what goes in must come out okay turn it off don't want to see it matt so what Get goes off that in page. must go out 
Thank you very much, Benjamin, for sending a picture of your dog's butt. Now, get that slide off, okay? Hey, Reed. Uh, yes, hang on. Someone has told me the previous animals were axolotls. Ah. Oh, no, that's, yeah. That's so there you it. go. That's yeah. it. Ah, oh, we well done. That, yeah. um, so, Rich. Yes. Um, I'm going to have to flick over to the next slide, which you will see Ute's bum again. Okay, well, everyone close your eyes, please. Everybody on the internet, close your eyes. Yeah, everyone on the internet, close your eyes. Thank you. Thank you. Next one. Uh, this is Poppy, and d the dog is called Lily, and they are reading the book. What? Yeah. I have never seen a dog that can read. I know, it's clever, isn't it? That is amazing. Yeah. Wow. I mean, clearly the dog is just uh, lending the book to um, Poppy right now. Um, yes. Before, Lily the dog was, in fact, reading the book. Yeah, I think um, the, how many years of puppy school do you have? Do they have to go to to be able to read a book? Uh, no, Rich, um, we've translated the book into dog. Oh, really? It's available Could... in dog, cat, um, Mexican, and is it... fluffy fish. Uh, oh, axolotls. Oh, yeah, sorry. Sorry, excellent. Yeah. Maybe we'll hear one of those later. We'll have some of those translations later. Maybe we will. Yeah, that would be a good talking book. I think people, that would do well on Audible. Anyway, uh, sorry, who it else? Would be a um, talking book. It would be a woofing book. Oh, yeah. Oh, fair enough. Fair or enough. a meowing book. Yeah, just, just, to, just to pick you up on that. Matt, did you know I used to be a werewolf? Really? Yeah, but I'm all right now. <laughs> Let's move on. Let's move on. Here we go. Um, now, so we asked you all to send in, because Rich and I have written a book, we asked you all to send in books, uh, covers for books that you might have written. Yeah, wow. Yeah. So these are our bookie lookies. The first one. Let's have a, let's have a looky at these bookies. Here we go. This one is from um, Michaela. And this, <gasps> this book is called the tiger wow well i wonder what happens in the tiger well if you just look across the river there ah i dropped an ice. yes what do you think that is uh, ice cream yeah it looks like an ice cream do you think it looks like an ice cream play-doh play-doh is it play-doh um, in, uh, in the comments you might want to um tell rich what it is maybe it's a um a hermit crab inside a shell and it's just coming out of that that's not actually a river that is uh, an inlet to the ocean the interesting thing about the tiger though is he seems to be wearing a nappy oh well hang on wait there's a lot of questions in this book then because if the tiger's yeah. wearing a nappy then where did the poo come from i know i know okay uh, i'm definitely yeah. going to get this book yeah i think it looks good i think this could win the book a prize it does um this one is grayson's book and it's called not cute. <laughs> Grayson, you absolute legend. There are not enough googly eyes on the front covers of books. Yeah. I think if there were, it would help literacy enormously. I also really like the idea of doing a, um, a, a series of um, uh, books about animals that aren't cute. Okay. Yes, I agree. Oh, that sounds good. Can I just say we've got an update here? Apparently, Michaela says they're rocks. We have it from the author. From the author. Ah, yeah. Wait. Fantastic picture. It was a very good. Can I just ask why um, the tiger is pooing rocks? It's not pooing rocks, Matt. You're making that connection. Okay. Now, we're talking about not cute here. This is about, uh, 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 I think, a huge barrel of an animal. I'm not quite sure what it is, or maybe it's moving really fast, uh, but it's got something under its bed. I think that's what's happening here. Oh, right. This yes. is good, Grayson. Lots of questions in this book, yes. which it makes for yes. good art, doesn't it? Yeah, yes, it does. Yes. Next one. What, what other books have we got? Yeah. This is Pippin Prep, and this is called Poo Fest, The Poo Fest, uh, with, with Farts as special guest. So there seems to be uh, a theme for this book. Pip, 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 pip. What have you done? Well, clearly they've done a poo, Rich. Well, a lot of them. You can see them there playing guitar, what? playing, uh, playing instruments. What is this festival? 
Honestly, is this Woodford Folk Festival or what? Uh, it's uh, it's Glastonbury, but three days after. <laughs> okay, I see. And what is that thing? Is that a light shining on them, or is that like a? Is it in fact a UFO beaming them up? Oh, I don't know. I think yeah. it's a. I think it's an LED parkan. I think. Okay, so you're saying that's a stage light. Yeah. And what? And is that popcorn above them, or what no, are they? They're the farts. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So Seriously. The farts have come to the concert. <laughs> Oh my goodness. So watch the band play. Now, can I just ask first though, Matt, which came first? Oh, Chicken well, or the egg, the poo or the fart? I, I don't know. Uh, that is an age old question, Rich, and one that mm. we will not be getting to the bottom of here. Can I just say this is the pooiest comments we've ever had in our lives. Someone is just says it's the Bake Banana Nananananis Festival. Someone said it was Lollapoo Loser. Oh, I had Lulapalooza. Lulapalooza, very good. Someone's called it the Poostival. Oh, yeah, that's good. Um, yeah. There's a, so let's, um, that's it. This one is The Dancing Dog. It's called Coco Learns to Dance. Wow, by Elia Barrett. Amazing. Yeah, it's great, isn't it? It's got, it, it's a very, this dog is has amazing balance. Look at that. It's on like it's it's on the very tip of its middle toe on a circular. What is that? A ball or, or some sort of smooth rock, perhaps an egg, a giant egg. A plane. And and look at its expression. Coco hasn't learned to dance. Coco has nailed dancing. Coco, Coco has become dance. Coco is going to the Olympics. And people are just going to say, let's not even have a competition because she's already so good at balancing. Yeah, let's just, uh, let's just watch Coco dance. Mm. Mm. If you sort of jiggle your head around, it does look like she is going to dance. It does. I encourage everybody to do that while looking at the screen. I think actually, now I've seen it, it's actually she's surrounded by stars. Perhaps she's on some sort of an asteroid and she learned to dance from an alien and that's why she's so good at it. Or is she in zero gravity? We'll never know. Or is Coco and, and, herself an alien? Exactly. Elliot, you've got to write the rest of the book. We you've need to, to know what happens in The Dancing Dog. Make it, a, make it a trilogy. Or is it like Gangnam Style, you know? Is this going to be like a, a new TikTok dance and everyone does The Dancing Dog? It, it could be. We could start it. Yeah. Yeah. We just did. I think we just did. Uh, what is it? Is it just sort of like stand up, raise your hands and lift your leg? Yeah, but you have to do it on, uh, uh, you know, on your middle toe, so it's not easy. Oh, and you have to do it on Tyler on top of a pile of milk crates as well. Yes, exactly. Anyway, it won't do any good on TikTok. I, I feel like we shouldn't do uh, have too many ideas because this is Elliot's book after all. That is true. That Thank is you, true. thank you, Elliot. We love this book cover. That's good. I would totally read this book. Oh, this one's called The Flying Dot. Wow. <sighs> now. The first thing that strikes me about this book, Matt, yep. is the unconventional shape of this book. Oh, yeah. It's like it was a book and then someone sat on it a number of times and pushed it into a crazy shape. Yeah. Maybe. Or, yeah, go on. I was going to say maybe they threw it around the room to try and catch the dot. Ah, I see. Also, someone is saying the flying dot. It's in a speech bubble, if you notice. But who is saying it? We can't see them, you know? Oh, whoa, whoa. Or can I just say, I think I know what this book is about. You know, in the movies, when like a cowboy, and they've got like a book or a passport in their pocket and then they get shot and you're like, oh, no, they're dead. And then they pull out this book of poetry or, or whatever, they, whatever book they had in their pocket and they stop the bullet. Doesn't that look exactly what, like, what's happened here? Ah, yeah. It's got a bullet all the way through it. It's like, how did you survive the gunfight? I had this book in my pocket. The flying dot. The flying dot. Yeah, exactly. Oh. And then the, the cowboy's like, cool. Well, next time, I'm not going to shoot you in the book. I'm going to shoot you in the head. Ooh. And that's his warning. So, Or it's like, uh, you can't come spewing into my town. This is spew town. Exactly. exactly. We, don't, we don't use bullets. We use vomit. <laughs> Aiden, 10 years old. I just love the detail in this. 
it's very good. It, it yeah. is very, very good. Yeah. Um, What's it about? No one knows. That is the end of our books, our bookie looky. Yay! Give yourselves a round of applause, our authors. Let's see some claps. If you uh, uh, if you enjoyed that, put a little love heart. Hit like. Yes. Hit like. Uh, we've got an update here. Aiden says it's an invisible person. So, oh, that I mean, I have never seen a cowboy film with an invisible person in it. Oh well, that well, that's because they're invisible, Rich. The Invisible Cowboy is a movie I would watch. Just saying. Really, really would be great. And because yeah, then it would... it would just be like shots of horses with no one on the back. Yeah. Doors opening. <laughs> like somebody yeah. at sun at sunset with the gun standing opposite no one else. Just a floating <laughs> pistol. It'd be amazing. A honky tonk piano playing by itself. Ah, I'm in. I'm in. Sounds good, doesn't it? It really does. A bit, uh, okay, now brilliant. We have so many people in the comments now. We've got 80, 80 plus people watching. It's incredible. It would help us if everyone, if you would like other people to see this post because it will stay online after this. It would help us if you all clicked like on this post or love heart or oh. crying oh. or even angry. <laughs> However you're feeling in Wait. the five options. <laughs> That's all you get. Five options. Yes. Now, what someone just. D &D? Someone should play Spewtown Forever in chat. Fun fact Spewtown's national emblem and national food are both baked bananas. Yeah. Uh, now, someone said, We don't, we love Spewtown, but my dad doesn't. Yeah. There are a certain subset of parents. If you don't know what we're talking about, just go along to um, our Bandcamp or our Spotify and listen to the track Spewtown. It's uh, do yourself a favor. Yes, it has a song in it. And Matt, how does the song go? Ah, oh, it's a wonderful day in Spew Town with the sky so pretty and blue, with the sun puking down on our Chandra's town. I'm so happy. I think I buy. <laughs> And that's how it goes. And for, I think for some adults, that last spew is just a bridge too far. <laughs> and fair enough. Okay. Now, Matt, what? uh, what's next? Those, those elderly members of the audience here will know that Frye has a little segment. Uh, let me just get it lined up. A little segment we like to call Richard's Magical Corner. But because we're having our book launch, we're going to call it Richard's readingest corner yeah but rich <laughs> yeah um i'll just get out of the way so you can see it yeah so um a quick question where do i go about hang on i'm just getting into the good spot there you go talk to me let's go down a little bit down a little bit i can't more. really i can't get down a little bit more now you, you, you you're muted now no you've you've muted you've you're muted you no you 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 you're down but you're muted. Oh, 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 Rich, are you back? Are you there? Rich, are you there? I can't hear you. I can't hear you. I'm all alone. I'm so frightened. Okay, well, now's my chance. It's a wonderful day in Spew Town with the sky so pretty and blue. Oh, wait. Maybe I could sing the Richard's Magical Corner theme song, but use Richard's Readingest Corner. Ah. Yeah, I couldn't hear you for a second there, Matt. Uh, what Richard, happened? Just came up with a brilliant plan. Oh, yeah. You know how uh, the theme song to Richard's Magical Corner is arguably the greatest song ever written? It's the longest song ever written, but yeah. Uh, thank you. I, I equate those together um yeah I've so, do, so does george lucas <laughs> um, so uh what i thought i would do is sing that theme song but yes. use readingest instead of yeah. magicalist that's a good idea um so that means that everybody out there if you don't know the words or if you do know the words you can sing along okay but don't make it too long matt it's got to be don't short make it too long. okay just okay. I i'll go back to i'll go to my spot okay sit down a little bit Cross a little bit. Cross a little bit. That's it. Down a little bit more. 
I really can't because chairs. Down, down a little bit more. A little bit more down. A little bit more down. A little bit more down. A little bit more. A bit more. A little bit more. How's that? Perfect. It's Good. Richard's reading his corner. It's the reading his thing on the internet. It's Richard's reading his corner. It's the reading his thing that you've ever seen yet. It's a world of entertainment in a library full of rainbows. It puts the reading in you. It puts the reading in me. It puts the reading in everybody's family. It's Richard's. Is it finished yet? No, it ha oh, you can't interrupt it, Rich. I have to. It's going for so long. No. Well, I have to finish it all the way at the end. So now I have to start okay. again. No, no, don't start again. Just do the finale. It's the magicest thing that you've ever seen yet. And then next week, I've got Lizzo doing guest vocals. Well, that's good. I look forward to that. Yeah. Matt, uh, turn off your virtual background because it's time for Rich's Reading His Corner. That's right. We're going to do a reading from our book, Teleportaloo. <laughs> now, Matt, I need you to hold up the pages so we can have a look what's like going this, on. Now. Ready to go. It's upside down. It's upside down. Oh, it's upside. Got to go the ready right go. way up. I've got the book. Now, that's Luigi's Mansion 3. That's that's a Nintendo Switch game, Matt. It's Is not. It? Oh, yes. Can I play that? No, well, we're reading. Oh, we're reading. Sorry. Yes. Definitely reading. Definitely. Yes. Yeah. We have to read to the kids, Matt. It's, you know, the only education they're going to get nowadays. That's Come on. true. That's yeah. true. I'll just put on my reading glasses. Okay, good. Can you really read with those? I can't see anything. Take them off. Take them off. Take them off. Yeah. yeah. Okay, hang on. Um, ready to go. Just have a quick uh, cup of water. Then I promise we'll start this reading. Good. Uh, I promise. Good. Uh, good. Quick drink of water. Okay. Okay. Ready? Let's go. Uh, do I have time to go to the toilet? First? No, Matt. It's Richard's reading his corner. Okay. <clears throat> now, if you're all sitting comfortably, we're going to read you from our book. Look! Teleportalo. Here we go. Now, hold up. The beginning. Page one. We've only got about 200 pages, so tuck yourselves in. All right. In a, lo a long time ago, in a toilet far, far away, The walls are shaking, the alarms are alarming, the beepy things are beeping, the toilet paper is going everywhere. Matt and I are bravely screaming our heads off in fear. The fate of the world lies in our as yet unwashed hands. Wait! Oh, why have we stopped the fun? Well, we can't start the story there. How come? Well, for a start, they don't know who we are. Oh. Who are you again? Uh, uh, I'm Rich and you're Matt. Oh, yeah. Um, but where should we start the story then? Further back in time, at the very beginning. Oh, okay. <clears throat> at the beginning. A gazillion million years ago, before even our nan was born, the Tyrannosaurus Rexes roamed the earth. And as you can see, their tiny arms meant that they couldn't pick their noses. Okay, stop. Okay, Sparty Pants, that's too far back, okay? But look, Rich, like, look at how small their arms are. How did they even wipe their butts? <gasps> Maybe they didn't. Maybe that's why they became extinct. Okay, our story began when Matt really needed to pee. Oh, yeah. I was absolutely busted. busting. Now, uh... Step on it, Rich. Oh, yeah, that's your line. Step on it, Rich. I'm busting. Screams Matt right into my ear. We're on a tandem, Matt. If you want to go faster, then you could try pedaling as well. Matt shakes his head. Uh, I'm crossing my legs is not an option. You should have gone at the supermarket. Oh, well, smarty pants, I didn't need to go then. We hurtled down the quiet streets of our hometown, Dunny Do. Why are you so busting? I yell against the wind. What happened back there? I look at Matt. He looks suspicious. Uh, Earlier at the supermarket. You can what see did you do? 
I've yeah. had all the free samples. Incredible. That must be his 100th cup. How badly do you need to go, I asked, like on a scale from one to 10? Uh, about a million billion. Matt replies, oh, just don't think about it, I say. But then Matt looks around and sees a giant sign that says, uh, Leaky Tap, you're in trouble. Uh -oh. Somebody spraying a hose, uh, somebody pouring some water, a bubbling <laughs> fountain, and then somebody saw evil kid holding a sign that says, just, just pee, pee your pants. <sighs> and then turn over the page, Matt, because you've got the first line on there, and it's a very good line. Oh, um. <laughs> He cries, okay, you're going to have to go behind a tree. Let's pull over, I say, looking around for a suitable shrub. Uh, are you crazy? I can't pee outside, Rich. It's the birds. They're always watching. And they are, ah, look. They're always watching. Um, now, uh, Matt grabs me by the tie and says, You have to get me home now. Hang in there, buddy, I say, spying a shortcut. Everything's going to be all right. But of course, it wasn't going to be all right. Not at all. So we ride down Danny Doo's bumpiest street. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. So bumpy. So many potholes. Don't worry, Matt, I say. We'll soon be at... Nan's house. Nan's house. There's Nan's house. Now... We live with our Nan. Nan is a very normal Nan. She lives with Vanessa de Floof, her pet ferret. Yeah. Let's have a good look at Vanessa. Now, Nan likes to do very normal Nan things like... Bowling. Bowling and... Fishing. Just normal Nan things like... And, and uh, entering hot dog eating competitions. Yeah, she doesn't really know when to stop. Streaking at the football. Nan! Oh, no! Now, we skid to a stop outside Nan's house. Matt leaps off the bike. He runs even faster than he did that time when I explained to him how an all-you-can-eat buffet works. Can't talk. Gotta wee. He yells, charging in through the front door. Sprint. And I follow him. As I follow him, I trip on a pile of unopened envelopes on the doorstep. Morning, Nan. There are more of those weird letters again, I say, scooping them up. Oh, thanks, Dal. I'll just file them uh, with the others. She says, feeding them into a paper shredder. The perfect lining for Vanessa's ferret palace. Then, as always, Nan lands a hugely sloppy kiss on my cheek. Smooth. Em embarrassing. But what makes it even a thousand percent more embarrassing is that Nan's nosy, know-it-all neighbour, Abby, is standing right there in the lounge room. Now, what badge are you earning today, Abby? I say, sarcastically as possible. And this is Abby? Yeah. She lives next door to Nan. Yeah, and according to her, she, according to her, Abby, she's earned all those badges, learning new things, although we only have her word to take for it. She uh, says, Zo zoology. I'm oh, sorry, that's your line, Matt. Oh, zoology. I'm observing the eating habits of primates. Really? Yeah, you want a banana? She says, which makes Vanessa make a noise that sounds very much like a lol. <laughs> <laughs> Just as I'm about to devastate Abby with one of my patented rich comebacks, Matt walks in. He's as white as a sheet. You're never going to believe this, Nan. He says, Your toilet tried to eat me! <laughs> bum, bum, bum. That's all you're going to get. <laughs> what Ooh. happens next, Rich? Well, they're going to have to read the book. Okay, spoiler alert. Yes. Can I tell them what happens in the end? No, you can't. Absolutely not. There's, an, there's, a, there's a flying dot that travels around. Oh, yeah, true. And then a dog learns to dance. And, oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. <laughs> so beautiful. Um, if you've already got your copy of a Teleportaloo, um, tell us what you think. Send us an email. Let us know if you've enjoyed it, your favourite part. Maybe tell us uh, if you used the last page of the book as toilet paper, like I recommended. Yeah. Uh, what? Yeah. Oh, Matt, really? 
you can't see it because ah, oh, does that really ah oh, no? It's what does it say? Please use this page as emergency toilet paper. I didn't realize that that was what it said there. Seriously, look. Oh, yeah, I can see that now. I just Ooh. saw it in my copy. Rich, maybe what? if any, if anyone goes into a new lockdown, instead of a panic buying toilet paper, they can panic buy our books. <laughs> I am one hundred percent behind that. I have yeah, to I say. Think that's a good idea. Ah, well, uh, Matt, I think we've got the link to order the book in the comments of this or in the in this uh, in this um, whatever this is the live stream. I think so. I did ask Nan to do it. So whether okay, Nan did or not, who knows? Brilliant, brilliant, excellent, excellent. So, um, Matt, uh, that was very good. I'll just uh, read some of the things that are coming. Um, mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so people are just writing about eBay in the comments. It's pretty crazy. Oh. Someone's still saying baked bananas. It's kind of amazing. But one person says that they have ordered the book. So there we go, Matt. That's good. And someone just posted the a GIF that says, consider adopting, which is uh, with some pets uh, there. That's nice. It is very nice. Now, Matt, uh, talking of books, we're mm -hmm. keeping this Friday going with the book theme. I think we're, we're called the listies because we like to make lists. And I think it's time in the show for us to make our very own list with the audience in the comments. What do you think? I think that sounds fun. Yes. All right. Here so we go. Oh, what we're yes. going to do is we're going to make a list of everybody's favorite books. So have a think of what your favorite book might be and then uh, type it into the comments. Richard will read it using his ears. And uh, and then, is that right, ears? Yes, that's right. So we wanna know what your favorite books are. Now, I'm not sure with this crowd, if we're gonna get, what are their favorite books? Here they if, come. Here we go. Harry um, Potter, Harry Potter, Matt, Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Harry and another one for Harry Potter and another one for Harry Potter. We've got three separate people saying Harry Potter. Has, has anyone ever read the Australian version? It's called Harry po Barry Potter. Barry Potter. And the Danny of Secrets. Oh, that's good. I thought it was going to be Barry Potter and the high vis vest, maybe, or something like that. Okay. Uh, we've got, what have we got? Um, the grandest bookshop in the world. The grandest bookshop in the world. Yeah. Oh, that sounds good. Doesn't it? Uh, what about Grumpy Unicorn Hits the Road? <laughs> well, sounds quite violent of the Grumpy Unicorn. The grumpy? What, did the, what did the road ever do to that unicorn? That's what I would know. Oh, that sounds fun, though. I'm... I, I, you don't think of unicorns as being grumpy, do you, Rich? Hey, Matt, everyone gets grumpy, you know? It, it, it do, they do, they do, Rich, they really do. Yeah, they do. And um, especially that maybe, you know, may, maybe pooping glitter isn't what it all cracked up to be. Uh, Rich, I, I'd imagine that it's probably a little bit painful. Um, now we've got someone here is a big fan of a book called J.R.R. Tolkien, and it's by a hobbit. So that's interesting. So the book is called J.R.R. Tolkien, and it's been written by a hobbit. J.R.R. Tolkien. Yeah, by a hobbit. Yeah, sounds good, doesn't it? So what's a hobbit, Rich? Uh, you know, hairy feet, doesn't wear shoes. Kind of small, kind of small. Small, yeah. Diminutive, I'd, okay. I think I'd say. Yeah. Uh, no, Matt, what, what are you doing? No. Oh, okay. I thought you... Oh, so, oh right. It's not a party political broadcast. Sorry. 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 Yes. Okay. Um, we've got a good one here. What about Luca, the book with no, wor the book with no words, I think it is. Oh, wow. Uh, the book yeah. with no... The book... I'm going to write that without any words. So it's Luca. Look at that. Hey, okay, thanks. They're coming in thick and fast, I'll tell you Look what. Look at that. So I wrote about, the title with no words. Matt, uh, someone's favourite book is The Listies Teleporterloo. Whoa, that sounds uh, amazing. Okay. Nav Navia's favourite is The Boy Who Ate Everything. He ate baked beans and farted into space. And now, I, I don't even think our publisher would publish that. 
Is that that's Jack and the Beans talk, isn't it? Ah, probably. Diary of a Wimpy Kid is very popular, as is P- the Percy Jackson books. Oh, Diary of a Wimpy Kid. So that's about the person that everybody picks on, that nobody likes. It's like a wimpy, like wimpy, like a wimpy yeah. kid. You yeah. got it. Got it. Matt, what are you doing? You, you keep having a slip with your fingers. Oh, I think sorry. maybe you, <laughs> your fingers and, and your brain are not talking together. It's an autofill, Rich. I just oh, I wrote sorry. wimpy and then that came out. Oh, weird, weird. Um, someone's right. Uh, sh- someone's being a bit tricky here, Matt. Uh, Shakespeare's The Two Gentlemen of Corona. Oh. I think a play on Shakespeare's play, Midsummer Night's Dream. Um, oh, well, that's yeah. very smart. You should give yourself a brain high five. Yes, someone's making it right. Oh, uh, what about Charles Dickens' The Pickwick Poopers? That was the same person. The... <laughs> well done. Um, so, or oh, the magic faraway tree? Yes. Uh, real pigeons fight crime. I want to, no, not the magic. That's far. Take the tea out, Matt. What are you oh, doing? Man. Again, Rich, it was Take an the autofill. Tea out. It was an autofill. I didn't do it on purpose. Seriously. Real pigeons. I want to see you spell pigeon. Oh, there's no D, but that's all right. Crime. I love those books. If you can get your hands on one of them, they're real funny. Yeah, they're very good. And they also have really good illustrations. Uh, we've got, oh, there's so many. Um, Wolf Girl. Wolf Girl. That's good. That's a good one. Uh, someone is a big fan of a Pokemon book as well. Oh, Matt, how do you get Pikachu onto a bus? Pokemon. Uh-huh. And someone here is a fan of your cooking. Uh, mm. Their favorite book is Green Eggs and Ham. Oh, Green Eggs and Eggs and Spam. Yeah, sounds good. That's the long lasting version. Uh, that's that's the that's when somebody sends you uh, an email that contains green eggs. <laughs> Is it? Yeah. Okay, that's good. Mm. I thought that was that was the children's book they serve you when you um, go to school in England. I'm moving on. Uh, Real pigeons fight crime. Uh, wolf girl, but someone has spelt wolf l no w l o f. The wolf gang. I don't know if that's the sequel to Wolf Gang. Yeah. Oh, waff, waffle girl. That's right. You've written waffle girl. <laughs> oh, that's that means walling on the floor laughing rich ah walling on the floor laughing good good the midnight gang hang on wait I i'm could... gonna try and correct that one how do i spell wolf properly rich w u w w yeah o no not w not w f l wolf l Oh. That, that, what are you doing? No, that's not wolf, but that is the sound a wolf makes. Oh, not wolf. Very good. Someone put the diary of a visit to Maccas. <laughs> <laughs> Billy Brown's coming up in the comments. They're good books too. Timmy failure. Timmy I, failure. Timmy failure. There's also Timmy another. Failure called Scotty Failure. Is that, I haven't read that one. Yeah, yeah, it's about a guy and he was supposed to do something a year ago and did it. Oh, really? Okay. Um, interesting. What about Weirdo? Oh, okay. By Ando, Ando, Weirdo. Oh, it's an autofill. Okay, okay, okay. Auto-fill. Matt, it's an auto-fill. stop it with the autofills. Yeah. Sorry, so sorry. Yeah. I'd like to apologize for anyone out there uh, who was offended by that. Um, ooh. Uh, Lord of the Rings is there. I haven't read that one, Matt, but Ooh. I always, I do like onion rings. So can you put Lord of the Onion Rings or barbecue Lord rings? of the Onion Rings. They're, they're a very underestimated thing. You could normally get them at the, uh, at the bowling club or the RSL. That sounds delicious. I love an onion ring. Yeah. But, you could yeah. rich yourself be the Lord of the Onion Rings. I'd, I'd like to be, or at least a Duke or yeah. maybe a, Maybe a Viscount. Okay. Viscount, Viscount of the Onion Rings. I'd like uh, to be the Jester. 
there. That's fine. I'm sure there's an opening. There's uh, always an opening in an onion ring. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, dog man. Half dog, half man. Dog man. Dog man. Dogman. Dogman. Dog. I'm dog. No, it's not pronounced dogman. Dog it's pronounced man. Batman. Hi, I'm dogman. No, it's dog man. Hi, so half... I'm, I'm a dog man. No, no, that doesn't sound right. It's dog man. It's got to be, you know. Dog man. Yeah. One fish, two fish, red fish, poo fish. <laughs> I have a feeling that some people aren't taking this literary episode of Friday seriously enough. Uh, the practical magic. What's Tashi? Tashi. Someone keeps writing Tashi. Practical Magic is that the movie with Nicole Kidman and Sandra Bullock in it? Because that is my favorite book as well. <laughs> Do you know what my favorite book is, Rich? What? It's what? Actually, Ned. I heard that. Oh, Matt, I heard that idea. I had that. I had that <laughs> idea come into your brain just then. Thank you. Now, one last thing we should do. I th give yourselves a round of applause, everybody. There it was, a list of your favorite books. Well done, everybody. Hooray. Um, and just tell us, last thing I'd like everyone to do is tell us where you all are. Oh, that's a lovely not, idea. Not street addresses, please. We don't need street addresses, absolutely not, but just general areas, cities, towns, <laughs> countries, uh, planets. Where are you? Um, but I am in Melbourne. I am in Adelaide Ooh. in house quarantine. But one day I will be out. But Matt, we've got people in Melbourne. We've got people in Ballarat. We've got people in COVID Coburg. Tab, we've got Tasmanians. We've got North Melbournes. We've got Pakenham on Earth. Someone's in Jupiter. Someone's in Wollongong, Lismore, Kyneton, Sydney. Wow. Eastland, Southeastland, Fizzleberry, O Eastland, Southeast, Land of Fizzleberry. Whoa. Tropical Far North Coburg. <laughs> <laughs> Chelsea, Victoria, Chirella wow. in New South Wales. Chirella, the Flying Dot and Coco Dancing Dog are in Wollongong. South Coogee. Uranus. Whoa. Get out. Get out now. <laughs> Under Mountain? What does that mean? Dark Side of the Moon. Okay, it's getting weird. Croydon Park, Ballarat. <laughs> Mer American uh, Melbourne Tropical Day. Someone's trying to leap on that tropical gag. Sydney, Croydon Park, Melbourne, Pluto. Wow. There you go. You're all around Australia. It's That's amazing. amazing. Thank you so much for joining us. Matt, have you had a good time? I've had a great time. Have you had a good time? I've had a great time. We should do these Fridays again. Stay tuned, everyone. We might do another one of these Fridays next week. What do you think, Matt? I think that sounds fun. We might do a Friday next week. Uh, but, uh, and uh, we might do it on Facebook. We might do it on Zoom. Stay tuned, everyone. Uh, but, uh, be at the same the, time. In the meantime, if you do have something that you would like to submit to our show and smell. Uh, yes. Thing. We like pictures of pets. Uh, mm -hmm. We like stuff that you've cooked. We like yes. craft activities you've done. We mm -hmm. like. Um, In fact, that's the theme. That's the theme for next week, Matt. Craft. Craft. Yeah, craft work. Exactly. That's the theme. Craft. Love it. Yes. Love it. Um, okay, so okay. Get crafty. All right, Rich. Well, I'm going to give you. I'm going to send you a craft challenge. Okay, uh, good. I like it. Week and uh, we'll see how you do with it. Okay, Aiden is infected potato bread. Thank you for joining us. I just thought I'd sign off with that. Bye, it's infected Friday. potato breads. Bye. Thanks, for Thanks everybody. Stay safe. Stay sane. Bye bye. Bye. Make sure if you could like and share this post, that would be amazing. Bye. bye.